Joe, the 33-page decision could impact thousands of students who are homeschooled and go to correspondence schools across Alaska. It's a major decision. I, uh, I, I think the court is a very well-reasoned decision. State Senator Bill Wilikowski says House Bill 278, which he voted against in 2014, created the foundation for current correspondence schools and how he says parents can use public funds to send their kids to private and religious institutions. That bill dramatically changed the way correspondence school, schools worked and how they could um, fund uh, people who were homeschooling their children. The Superior Court pointed to the Alaska State Constitution's language in its ruling that states it's unconstitutional for public money to be spent on private institutions. Wilikowski says the state will likely appeal Friday's ruling. It is a major, major decision, probably the most significant education decision to come down in the state of Alaska in, in probably a couple decades. And it will have ramifications for many people in this state. Homeschool teacher and parent Brandi Pennington, who's a part of the case in opposition of Friday's decision, says she's concerned for the many families who could be impacted by the ruling. Now, I see this as just a temporary setback um, on the path to educate, well, to ensuring educational freedom. Um, I believe it's important to restore choice and accountability to the parents as the primary educator of their children. Pennington says it will cost some families thousands of dollars more to educate their children while taking away educational opportunities from some. The bottom line is this really isn't what people think it is. It's about your personal liberties being stripped away without you even knowing it. It's like thinly, like it's thinly disguised. She says the benefits her kids get from private and religious schools are rooted in reading, writing, and math. Unless Jesus wrote your math book, I don't care what you're learning or where you're learning it. I just hope that you get a really good education. Pennington says she doesn't believe Friday's ruling is a landmark decision and says she's hopeful the Alaska Supreme Court will overturn it. Another possibility is that the state could ask the courts to stay their decision so that nothing would change until the Alaska Supreme Court looks at the case.